Bitcoin has been on an absolutely spectacular bull run, rising on a parabolic trajectory all the way up to over 8,000. And right now, although we are still looking quite bullish here, I am seeing some signs in the chart that's leading me to believe that maybe playing this cautiously may not be the worst idea. Uh, I am seeing some signs of weakness here, but also I am seeing uh, potential continuation patterns for the bulls, and I'd like to explain and discuss all of this with you all here today. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Kirby here, your cryptocurrency expert, back with another edition of the daily live stream. What is going on, my friends? Today, I'd like to discuss Bitcoin and both scenarios. Like I said, we are still on our parabolic trajectory, and right now, there is certainly still sentiment for the bulls to take this trend higher. But on the contrary, I also want to point out the bearish factors here, albeit they may only be short-term bearish. Maybe we only get a pullback, or maybe this is it. The parabolic run has ran its course and we are going to retrace into the crypto abyss. So as a full-time trader, I'd like to discuss with you my strategy, my game plan, and how I plan to crush this market right now in the immediate term. So without any further ado, you guys already know the deal. If you like these daily crypto videos and nightly live streams, smack that thumbs up button, click the subscribe, tick the little bell. And let's get this crypto. Moon the likes, ladies and gentlemen. Moon them up. All right. So we'll begin with our Bitcoin technical analysis. And of course, before we begin, this is not investment advice. This is not trading advice. These are only my own opinions, ideas, and observations on the market. Always do your own research and your own due diligence before investing or trading, as this market is extremely high risk, and I am not your financial advisor. I will never tell you what to do with your trades or investments. Being said, let's begin right here on the local four-hour time frame. We can clearly see that Bitcoin has tentatively, for the time being, lost its support above 7900 just several hours ago we had a heinous flush candle take us right down back to our 0.236 fibonacci retracement now this area although it is below my support box my support box is located from 7750 all the way up to 7900 we've broken below that but as we can see here several times already we have wicked down to this area of the fibonacci retracement the main factor here that's different is that for the first time here, we had the candle body close along this line. All of the other times, it's just been a wick down. The candle body itself closed far above that retracement level. And now for the first time, we do have a full candle body close right along that fib retracement. And as where we stand right now at the time of recording, uh, we are struggling to get back up into my green box here that was support. So potentially now we are looking to see a support flip here. Uh, that old support now may in fact become new resistance. Uh, maybe we get a little BART action here, test as new resistance, and then look to plunge. Uh, what's concerning to me right now, most off, ladies and gentlemen, on the one day time frame here, is this RSI. Uh, as we all know, Bitcoin does definitely have a tendency to go from very overbought to very oversold rather quickly. I mean, we, we've seen it time and time again here, ladies and gentlemen, time and time again, Bitcoin has just loved to go from over oversold to overbought to oversold to overbought. And I mean, this case to me here is no different. We went from completely oversold to then completely overbought. We've had a double top on the RSI, which can be bearish. Uh, and right now, we certainly have a, a crazy bearish divergence here on the one day time frame, with these two peaks being literally around the same price point. And if we zoom out, just so you understand what I'm talking about here, uh, if we go into the candles, this price point here, this was the first movement on the RSI, and this was the second, right? The price points are nearly identical, yet when we go into the RSI, the RSI is telling a different story. We see that this first peak up here was between 89 and 86, and then when we retested the same price point, as I just showed you on the candlestick chart, we only got up to a 72 on the RSI to create this heinous bearish divergence. Uh, although we are still maintaining this higher low trajectory, 
on the trend line of the RSI. Uh, we have now tentatively broke under a support region for me here, this yellow line. Uh, we are seeing our bearish divergence. And if we do have the bearish divergence and a break of this support line to create a lower low here, which would be a drop for me below 53 on the daily RSI, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it would not surprise me at all to see this thing potentially go down uh, to potentially the 30 or even below there into oversold territory, uh, as this has been a pattern that we've seen repeating time and time again in the recent past history for Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Of course, past performance is not indicative of future results, but it is a great uh, little pattern to keep your eye on here. That is a very bearish uh, outlook, in my opinion, from that. Now, back in here on the four hour, Bitcoin has had a tendency right now to just do the BART patterns, right? The Bartholomews, as I like to call them, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we've seen inverse BART here, boom. Regular BART here, boom. Inverse BART, boom. Regular BART. Boom. Now, are we going to BART here, inverse BART, back up uh, to test our tentative support flip here and turn it into a resistance and then get rejected? That's a very real possibility, in my opinion. Uh, we, have, we have also, ladies and gentlemen, just classic double top here on a macro level, right? When we see these two clusters acting as a dual double top. And if you actually want to consider all of the candles here, it's been even more like a quadruple top if you do uh, look at it like that. All bearish, in my opinion there, but let's let's look at this from a bullish perspective as well right although all of that could lead to a dump uh, i see many things here that definitely are still bullish one if we go out to the daily time frame the volume has still been quite good albeit it's beginning to to dip a little bit now on the moving average but overall the volume has been relatively high and on an upward sloping trajectory that is what you want to see uh in order for the trend to continue uh also here if we go back on the four hour we are still above our 0.236 Fibonacci retracement at the time of recording. Bitcoin is currently around 7650. We are still above our old resistance range outlined in the red here. So we are above that box as well. We're above our 0.382, which I think would be healthy if we drop to it. And also, I have a pattern outlined here, ladies and gentlemen, that would be, however you want to categorize it, as a potential uh, a potential ascending triangle or a bull flag, right? And I'm seeing right now that we are creating a series uh, of higher lows if we don't credit this wick, right? This was a heinous wick, so I'm going to just use these candles here. So we have a series of potentially uh, higher lows for the most part relative uh, with a relatively flat top with our double tops and all that nonsense. And if that is in fact the case, I could see a, a potential ascending triangle building here, which if you are subscribed here, you would know by now in an uptrend, when you get these patterns, they are generally bullish continuation patterns. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, once again, when playing patterns, patterns mean nothing until they are confirmed, right? And a confirmation of this tentative ascending triangle would be a breakout to the new highs to take out our flat line of resistance along the top. If we do that, we've had our one, two, three higher lows, a break of the flat line of resistance along the top, uh, preferably with volume as well. Then, ladies and gentlemen, ding, 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 grandma's cookies and a bottle of yo-ho-ho. Ho. This thing may be off to the races into my potential target area of anywhere from 8.4K, 9K, and potentially even up into the 10K region. That is my bullish case right there. That is the pattern I potentially see. But again, patterns mean nothing until they're confirmed. So watch out for it. Uh, that is something that's on my radar now. Uh, and just on the contrary, if we break below this, right, we break below the tentative upward sloping trend line, we break below our 0.236 Fibonacci, break below our 0.382 Fibonacci, and look to put in a lower low, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, it could be catastrophic for the trend as a whole right now, because I do believe... Uh, my ultimate impression here is that we are going to give back a fair amount of this trend. Uh, that is just my own personal opinion, and I think it would be extremely healthy for the macro trend to actually give a lot of the gains back 
back test these areas of tentative support prove to the market that this is going to be a supported range right prove it to average joe and james at the water cooler that this area is going to be defended by the bulls if the bulls can convince average joe and james at the water cooler that 6000 is truly going to hold the support and be the bottom right this, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, will lead to a lot of bullish speculation, FOMO, gamblers, degenerates, all of them back in this market. It may, in fact, be time, James, to fire up the old Coinbase, James, because what I'm seeing right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, is that even if we fail here, even if this trend does drop out like a brick out of the sky, if we pull back into our 0.5 or 0.6 Fibonacci retracement back between 6,600, 6,700, and maybe potentially down to 6,400, we could see that the macro trend here for the bulls is just getting started. So there's a lot to look at here, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm getting extremely aggressive. This trend is ready to break. Uh, I've been keeping my VIPs updated before I shouted out that Bitcoin looked unstable. I exited some altcoin positions and right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking to take new positions and I will be keeping you updated with all of my new positions exclusively in VIP. Uh, shout out to my VIPs. If you're not already in my VIP, ladies and gentlemen, I post all of my trades, my strategies, my setups, my entries, exits, my take profits exclusively all for you in real time to the absolute second in VIP. If you're not already in VIP, well, shout out to all my new future VIPs that will be joining right after this video. I will see you in there. I'm getting aggressive and I'm going to be keeping you updated exclusively there. So let's get this crypto. Now, uh, I just was telling you guys about the altcoin market that I had exit exited some some positions on the altcoins i had a great run with dash xmr zcash and now what i'm looking to do here is reanalyze what's going on so if we move over to the total crypto market cap i really want to dive in here and look to see although bitcoin looks like it could have some potential for a reversal also on the contrary we could be in a giant bull flag maybe we can see what's going on in the altcoin market in terms of the total altcoin market cap to give us some further insights here on what we can expect from the market as a whole. So let's dive right into that right now. But if you are just tuning in now, don't forget to moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Satoshi needs a new pair of shoes. So right here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if we go out to the daily here, we can see clearly that my box of support here for the total altcoin market cap this is excluding bitcoin here we're still holding above my green box which was old resistance this box used to be red if you are subscribed here you would know this by now we dropped down bounced off the 0 0.382 fibonacci and ever since then we've been consolidating in a healthy fashion above the old resistance and ladies and gentlemen this is beginning to look to me like a flagpole up a potential sideways consolidation to create our flag and potentially looking for another flagpole extrapolation if we take it let's let's pull our flagpole a tentative flagpole extrapolation up into my target range for a bull flag ladies and gentlemen of up into my total market cap range of about 30 percent from where we currently stand if this bull flag is to play out here uh, the gains in the altcoin market are likely going to be absolutely astronomical because you can't forget this would be tentatively 30% uh, just for the whole market, let alone, you guys know my opinion here, I believe that the large cap altcoins, especially ones that have leverage uh, and margin trading uh you know attached to them across several of these margin exchanges i believe that those may run so incredibly hard uh i've been playing the altcoin market i'm going to look to continuously play the altcoin market because right here i see my flagpole extrapolation takes me up to my uh tentative target range if we actually uh let's pull this up here it would actually be more like a 40 percent gain uh with the extrapolation 
uh, and potentially to the top of this range, I have my support, excuse me, I have my resistance line drawn at about a 47% move to the upside. None of this has to happen. Of course, this is just my own idea and my own opinion. Always do your own research and your own due diligence. I'll never tell you what to do with your investments or trades. For me right now, uh, I like what I see here in the formation, holding new support above old resistance. We are in a tentative bull flag pattern. We see right here, ladies and gentlemen, look at that volume. Look at the moving average on that volume. It's absolutely savage. So we're in a tentatively bullish formation with a lot of volume, a lot of volume. Look at that compared to where we've been. Wow. Just a complete rounding bottom and the, the volume moving average continues to rise parabolic right now. I love what I'm seeing here. And if this is in fact the case, uh, it is going to lean me more in the direction that Bitcoin could still potentially be bullish here. Uh, although we see the signs that maybe a healthy correction is due. Uh, and we all know that that Bitcoin does rule this market. The altcoins generally tend to follow Bitcoin uh, as the leader of the pack here, more so than the other way around. But, but... Uh, we all know as well, when Bitcoin likes to remain sideways and in a stagnation period before deciding a large definitive move to the upside or the downside, altcoins have been loving to run. Uh, and this leads me into the Bitcoin dominance metric. Right now, just like how on the crypto market cap, we have a tentative bull flag, right? Right now on the Bitcoin dominance metric, we have, in my opinion, a tentative bear flag here, right? And if we do bear flag, ladies and gentlemen, let's take our extrapolation there. Flag pull down. Let's draw it from the tentative breakout of the flag. And look where we go, ladies and gentlemen, right back into our meat and potatoes sweet spot range. And if this is in fact the case here... This is going to be more Bitcoin being dispersed back into the altcoin market, which would play, in my opinion, perfectly into that tentative bull flag that we just looked at on the other chart. And we'll go back to that chart now as that's all you needed to see here on the total market cap. So there you see, I hope you see my observation there with the inverse correlation. The Bitcoin dominance is in a tentative bear flag, which would be great for the altcoins, right? That's, that means more Bitcoin being dispersed into altcoins. And on the crypto total market cap chart, excluding Bitcoin, we see that we are in a tentative bull flag. Uh, this could be the perfect storm for altcoins, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm watching it with an eagle eye 24-7 right now. We've been waiting for alt season, right? I know I have. I, I at least have. Uh, and the fact of the matter is, is that if the opportunities are presenting themselves here, I'm not looking to miss them. Uh, I'm looking to diversify into altcoins, dollar cost average in, look to be buying dips, selling highs, reloading on the dips, et cetera, et cetera, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, Don Don Carbonaccio is seeing that this market is presenting a lot of potential opportunity here. Many are going to miss it. That's just how this game works, right? The fact of the matter is that people miss it. People, they buy high, sell low. They panic, sell on the low. They FOMO buy the top. It's very bad, ladies and gentlemen. The fact is, is that you need to, if you're not already uh, clearing your brain, calming your nerves, preparing, right? You need a plan, ladies and gentlemen. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio does not plan to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio plans to succeed. And right now, I've got the battle helmet on, the mud boots and the trench coat, because it's time to get this crypto. I see right here, right now, ladies and gentlemen, this may in fact be the most perfect storm for the altcoin market that we've seen in ages. I'm going to be playing this aggressively, taking positions, exiting, entering, exiting, taking profit, moving my stop losses, etc., etc. I'm going to keep you all updated with every altcoin position I take inside this market exclusively in VIP, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, shout out to my VIPs and shout out to all new future VIPs joining right after this video. I'm going to keep you updated exclusively in there. What I'm seeing right now is that monitoring this market 24-7 is likely going to work out in my in the, to my advantage, right? Because if I can stay one step 
Nah, nah. Two steps ahead of every bot, algorithm, and human trader in this market. Seize upon these opportunities if and when they do arise. This, my friends, is how I'm going to get my cake and eat it too. And I'm going to keep you all updated with every single position, trade, entry, exit, strategy, etc. Exclusively in real time. As I take my trades, make my exits, take my profits, etc. etc. I will be keeping you updated in VIP. Shout out to all new future VIPs joining right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. Let's get this crypto. Sheesh. I'm fired up. Because what I see right now is opportunity. And opportunity gets me... It, it sparks the fuse, ladies and gentlemen, because this is what we waited for, my friends. This is the type of action that we waited for. And Bitcoin, although right now it's in a very precarious situation in, in the chart, the altcoin chart is where I'm seeing a lot of potential. Uh, and I believe that it's going to be those large cap coins, ladies and gentlemen, that may run purely because of the fact that a lot of them have margin and leverage capabilities now, which in my opinion, of course, it's just speculation. I believe on this bull run, a lot of people are going to be using leverage on the altcoins, whereas in the last bull run, right, the 2017 altcoin bull run, a lot of these coins did not have leverage at all. Uh, it was mainly only Bitcoin. Ethereum really didn't even have leverage options, right? Uh, and now a lot of these top market cap coins offer leverage. So just purely my own idea and speculation, I believe that a lot of traders are going to be speculatively pumping up these coins here with the margin capability. Uh, that is what I think, uh, as you don't need to take uh, a lot of risk uh, added risk. There's always a lot of risk in cryptocurrency. You don't have to take on a lot of added risk on top of the already risky market by playing around with super small cap cryptos uh, because the liquidity is so bad, right? Uh, whales and large players, when they get caught up in these little poop coins, uh, sure, they can rip 100, 200%, but when you want to exit a large position, it can be quite difficult. So why would you sacrifice uh, the illiquid poop coin market for little small cap coins when uh, you're playing with large capital and you can just leverage on the large cap coins with with uh, a lot of liquidity, right? Uh, seemingly endless liquidity. Uh, and you can also get magnified gains off the leverage, right? You see what I'm saying? So that is my, my hypothesis there for this bull run is that the focus is going to remain on the large cap coins with a lot of liquidity and margin capability. Let's get this crypto. Uh, right now, I hope that you see that my observation is that the altcoin market looking so bullish, uh, it may lead to Bitcoin playing this bull flag out, this tentative ascending triangle. It might play out here just because of how bullish the altcoin market looks. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, we need to await for confirmations. Uh, if it comes in the middle of the night, I'm ready to get this crypto. If it comes in the early morning, I'm ready to get this crypto. And I'm going to be keeping you all updated with my moves exactly when I take them. Like I said, I've exited some altcoin positions now. I'm ready to get back in. I'm ready to reload the bag. I'm ready to get back into my Bitcoin long or short positions when I see confirmation. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting like a ninja in the shadows, waiting to absolutely strike and pounce on this market when I see the opportunity arise. Don Don Carbonaccio is ready to get this cake and eat it too. The question I ask you here today, ladies and gentlemen, is are you going to be the one that crushes this market or are you going to be the one that gets crushed? It's a decision that all must make. Those that choose to crush it, I wish you the best of luck. Those that get crushed, I'll, I'll have a moment of silence for you all. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am planning to crush it. I am right now getting ready to uh, take some positions when I see these confirmations come in. Uh, we are at the absolute boiling point and I'm ready to strike and get this crypto. So guys, uh, if you could one last time, moon up the likes, moon them up, smash those thumbs, click the subscribe button, tick the little bell. Let's get this crypto. Uh, I'll see you all in VIP right now. 
Shout out to all my new future VIPs joining right after this video. I'll see you all there. I'm going to keep you updated exclusively with my entries, exits, targets, positions, and strategies in real time. If you fail to plan, then your plan is to fail. Don Don Carbonaccio is planning for every single scenario. I'm going to have a strategy for every scenario, a plan for every scenario, and I'm going to keep you updated with those in absolute real time to the exact second in VIP. I will see you all in VIP right now. Shout out to all my new future VIPs joining VIP right now after this video. I will see you in VIP right now. And until next time, my friends, be safe, be happy, be healthy. It's your boy, Crypto Kirby. Peace and love, my friends. Curbs.